So let's talk about TikTok. Whether you love or hate this app, you got to admit its rise to be one of the most prominent social media platforms in such a quick amount of time is kind of curious. How did it become so big? What happened? What's the story behind TikTok? And why do so many people love it? And why is the government worried about it? Now, I'm not going to answer all of those questions today, but I do want to talk about one conspiracy theory that I believe actually might be true or have some uh, real backing behind it. That's right. I'm talking about the TikTok 15 minutes of fame conspiracy theory. Behavioral reinforcement. And if you think about um, something that's very sort of addictive, something that you want to keep doing again and again, the classic example is the Las Vegas slot machine. Yes. You, you, you pull the handle, you push the button, ding, 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 ding. You know, yeah, I won. You know, lights are going, ding, 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 ding. And the, the crazy thing is when people win, they don't say, let me have these coins or chips or whatever, this ticket they get, and let me, let me quit now. They say, maybe I can win again. Right. And then they ding, ding, and then, oh, and then ding, ding, oh, and then ding, 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 yay. Yeah. So it's, that's called in psych, psychological terms, that's called random reinforcement. It means sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And that's how these platforms are designed. First off, welcome to the channel. If you're new, this is the Cameron Explorers channel. I'm Cameron. And today we're exploring the conspiracy theory behind uh, TikTok's rise to fame and the addiction uh, people have to it. And let's get started. So about this theory is I think it's called the everyone gets a like 15 minutes of fame theory. And the whole purpose of this TikTok conspiracy theory is if you create a TikTok account and you want to grow your following and kind of create your audience, the the platform gives you 15 minutes of fame. It'll actually push one of your videos and so that you'll get maybe 50,000 or 100,000 views and likes on that video. And even if you're doing that same formula and keeping at it, your other videos won't do as well. And you get that adrenaline rush from that first video, right? That first video that blows up. Um, it, may, it may not be your first video, but it might be, you know, your fifth or 10th video or something. But as long as you're consistent at it, eventually one of your videos will hit. And once your videos hit and get popular, that you know you get that adrenaline rush, you get that dopamine effect, um, and that wants you to spend more time on the app. You're gonna open the app more to check the the likes and the views are going up. You're gonna open that app more to make more content because you want to you know keep creating uh, the that content and get more likes and followers. You've got a horizontal scroll going on pleasurable content, and you also have a vertical scroll going both. Yes. So. So that's a little bit different. So so let's say you stop on something and you watch it. It'll then auto start again on that horizontal scroll. And you may see some dance or some scene of nature or some emotional content. And, and you see it two, three times. And if you look in the contents, people will say, I watched this video way too many times. <laughs> it, it'll just auto load and you'll just, it, you'll be in this pleasurable dopamine state carried away. It's almost hypnotic, you know, you'll keep watching and watching. And then if you want to scroll up, there you go on the traditional scroll again to the next. Oh, you know, and there goes yeah. that dopamine hit again. So they've kind of got you on, on the vertical scroll as per Facebook or as per Instagram or, or Twitter. But they've also got this auto scroll going on the horizontal that I think almost intensifies that draw you in because they already know you. They've got you yeah. on the video that you and like. And so that's why when you're scrolling across TikTok, sometimes you'll come across a video that like isn't funny. It doesn't really have a purpose or anything like that. And like the cr the creator only has a couple hundred followers, but that's their video blowing up. It's pushing that video to you, so they get their 15 minutes of fame and they'll keep on creating content and pushing content forward. Now, as someone who uses TikTok, I, I know exactly how this happens. For my for myself on TikTok, if you follow me at Cameron Explorers, same on YouTube, same on TikTok, um, you'll notice I have two videos that have around 30 to 40,000 views, and then all the rest of my videos have like between 100 and 500 views. So I had two videos that blew up, and it I see the effect of like, constantly opening TikTok, trying to recreate that video, trying to do something to, you know, get that, uh, get that spike. 
of endorphins. Of course, TikTok has never admitted uh, to being to doing this or anything like that. It's just a conspiracy theory. But I think it's one that actually has some prominence behind it, as if you are a content creator like myself, or if you've ever made a bunch of TikToks, maybe you'll notice that one of them will actually blow up and uh, the feeling you get from it, right, is to keep going. So it's kind of an interesting theory there. Uh, let me know. Let me know if you agree with this, if it's just a conspiracy theory or you think this might have some truth behind it. Let me know if this has happened to you on any of your videos. All right. Thank you for watching and see you later.